Have you ever wondered what Stereo Madness, Geometry Dash's easiest main level, would look like if it was an extreme demon? No? Well, too bad, because in this video, I'm gonna show you all how I turned Stereo Madness from this into this. Featuring club step monsters, really weird challenges, and straight fly. Alright, what up guys? So I got a copy bowl of Stereo Madness already ready, so let's just get right into it. <laughs> you know this copy is old because these don't even exist anymore. Alright, so right off the bat, that is way too easy for an extreme demon. Even if we made it a triple spike, that's honestly still too easy for an extreme demon. So I have an idea. Okay, so I took some inspiration from our good friend Acheron in Silent Club Step, and we're gonna try this. First, we have to check if it's possible. That is not possible. Okay, how about now? That is possible, I think it's too easy though. It's possible. Let's try it in normal speed. That is very hard, just the way we like it. So we gotta make this boy nice and wide. We're gonna add some eyes. I vote that we do red eyes because it's a demon. We're gonna add these bad boys in here. That looks stupid, someone looks off about this. Okay, let me make his forehead not quite as big. That looks slightly better. We'll work with that, we'll work with that. Starting to think this is too hard, but you know what? It's an extreme demon, I'm just gonna leave it for now. All right, so I'm feeling a little bit evil. This jump is technically possible, but I think it's a frame perfect. So we have to decide, do I make this an impossible extreme demon or like just an, a normal extreme demon so people can actually play it? <laughs> I think I'm gonna take some inspiration from Poltergeist and I'm gonna put like an orb as if you have to tap it, but you don't tap it because you'll die. This is a before shot and this is an after shot. Now I know it doesn't look very much different, but this is actually a double click, so you have to use the space bar and the mouse at the same time. Like this. And then there's like a big jump, yeah I don't know. And we're just gonna add an invisible spike. So I'm thinking of taking some inspiration from Deadlocked. You know how it just like randomly goes to wave, and then back to cube? We're gonna do that in Stereo Extreme. So all I gotta do is just add this, and this. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> okay, so I made this stupid little wave thing, and we're gonna make it go back into cube at the end. That's too easy. That is physically impossible. Some change is the final touch, and here we go. We have a little structure thing. Beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm gonna name this structure Gilbert. So for this part, I decided to make it sync to the song. You can witness this sync at the end of the video when I showcase this whole level. <laughs> okay, I have a stupid idea for this. So my thought process for this is, if you just hit this orb, you slam into that and you die. But if you hit both, the momentum from this just goes away and goes into the pink orb and then you don't jump as high. Essentially making a double click similar to earlier. I wonder if this is actually possible if you're a minikeep, let me try. Yeah, no, that's definitely impossible. <laughs> Let me calm down, man. This is this is not like a new top one. Could you imagine if the top one extreme demon was a Stereo Madness remake? Th th that would just break the community. So this is possible with Mini Cube, but I gotta think, how do I make this like an extreme demon? I have an idea. Okay, this is gonna be really stupid. So the gimmick is this pad launches you up and you have to hit this until you bounce back down immediately. But since it's like this weird timing, Actually, I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> this is so hard. There's no way this is possible. Oh god. I think it is possible. <laughs> it's possible. This stupid little gimmick I came up with is possible, but like, if anybody's actually able to do that, I would be very impressed. Once this video is uploaded, I'll probably upload this whole level on my account so anybody can try to play it. Hey, maybe I'll even decorate it, we'll see. I actually really like this though, it's an interesting challenge. But we must move on to the next part. So I think I'm gonna put it back into full size. And that's obviously way too easy, so you have to think of a way to super buff it. So these spikes have a weird hitbox, it's like super small, so there's actually like space to jump on the side of them. So I'm gonna take advantage of that and just put those there. Ooh, I actually have a fun idea. So we're gonna go back into the mini portal. So you do that, and then you have to jump inside of there. And I'll just put like these like fake spikes in here for nope. now. Okay, so I made this fake spike that literally almost looks like a real spike, so we're gonna put that there. So now it's a troll. So I'm gonna take more use of these fake spikes and put them here. Yeah, no, that's not possible. However, if we put that there, I think it will be possible. Yes. So we're keeping this stupid jump, we're just replacing one of the spikes. But immediately after that stupid jump, there's another stupid jump that's really hard. This level is just gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna put these tiny little spikes here, just to make it like all the more annoying, because that's like the point of this level. 
So we have one of these parts again, and I can just copy from earlier and do this stupid thing, but I think I want to try something different. So I'm going to do something similar, but with brand new orbs. You know, I don't know, this might be a little too hard. I'm just gonna move these, like, up a little bit to give more time. So the gimmick is, these orange orbs launch you up to imminent death, but these black orbs are opportunity for safety. So to make this just a little bit easier, I'm actually gonna put yellow orbs here, so you don't, like, launch up as fast. And now, we're in the pre-drop transition. This part's way too easy, you just sit here and go to the ship. We cannot have that in this level. So for this part, I'm gonna put a ceiling of spikes, and I'm gonna put blue orbs. So, obviously, if you hit a blue pad, you launch into the ceiling and die. However, I'm going to put this here, making it a micro-click challenge, because if you hold slightly too long, you end up jumping anyways into your death. And if you hit the blue pad and don't hit the blue orb at all, you're dead. That is so incredibly hard, and I might end up nerfing it, but for now I'm leaving it in because it's stupid and funny. So now we've just about finished the entire pre-drop, so let's just try it out real quick. Dude, how did this guy in 2013 do this and I can't do it? Okay, I've had a change of heart. This is just a little bit too impossible. So now it's time for our favorite ship part. It's literally empty in the beginning, so we gotta super buff it. I'm taking a bit of a back on track slash silent club step approach and take making structures like this. So I just added this in empty space, but now I actually have stuff to work with. So I'm just gonna move this down, put a spike here, get rid of this little shenanigan, use some copy-paste, and boom, now we have a really hard structure. That is very difficult, I like it. I'm even gonna add some fakes here. This is a lot harder than it looks, so you have to like do a little tap, and then get in that portal at the right timing, get up, straight fly, drop, and then you have to get in that portal right without hitting the spike. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, straight fly. All right, so I've made a straight fly structure. And once again, I'm just gonna move everything upwards. So for this crazy structure, I'm taking some inspiration from Firework. The gimmick is you can only tap when there's no orbs, otherwise you slam up or down and die. So it makes it so it has very precise timings. You know what, I don't know if this is possible actually, I'm just gonna get rid of some of these. So now it is possible, but still very, very difficult. So I think I'm in the mood for some trolling. <laughs> so after this whole shenanigan, you have to go inside a block and you don't even know which one it is. But I do. It's this one. For the ultimate troll, I'm going to make it so if you try to actually fly over here, it just closes. You have to go up here. And I'm going to add yet another move trigger that moves this third platform. Actually, I'm going to put it up a little more. Perfect. So for the finale, I'm doing some untraditional straight fly, if you could call it that. Yeah, I like that actually. So the challenge is, if you hit one of these, you die. But if you hit the last one, you fall right where you're supposed to. And boom! That does it for the ship part. Let's play test it. Once again, I'm going to speed hack it because I suck and I don't know how to play this game. You know, I'm getting the feeling I made this a little too hard. Yeah, man, this is like super hard. I gotta remember. We're making an extreme demon, not an impossible demon. You stupid! Wait, no, 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 I fell from my own trap! Alright, so now that we've got the ship part and the pre-drop done, it's time for whatever you call this. So, uh, I made this guy. I don't know what you would call this little Cyclops guy. You know what, we're gonna name this guy Fitzgerald. Everybody comment, hello Fitzgerald. So I guess I should add coins, because why not? Bro, that is so stupid, but it's perfect. But now I need a normal route. I'm gonna make this little top route not quite as hard. So the main focus of this part is actually getting the coin. So I gotta figure out a way to buff this little situation going on here. Okay, so I don't know what the heck you would call this challenge. It's kinda stupid, but I guess it works. So these yellow portals with the green orbs are basically just yellow orbs, but with extra steps. But it adds a little timing challenge, it's kind of fun. I don't know what exactly this thing is, but I just feel like putting it in, so yeah. I'm even gonna put two in, just, just for fun. So now if when it goes red like this, I think I'm actually gonna switch out of cube and go to robot. Cause why not? Why not, right? So for all this, I basically just have to litter spikes everywhere. So apparently it actually is possible to do these type of jumps with robot too, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. Alright, so for the infamous triple spike, which is like the absolute hardest part of Stereo Madness, I have to find a way to make this, like, 
really, really hard. So it's the hardest part of this level to stay true to the name. So I'm thinking what we have to do is try to find the absolute maximum distance the robot can jump in one time speed. So that, that, that's a little too far. I don't know if that's possible. Unless it is. All right, test time. I'm going to make a bold assumption that no, absolutely not. Holy crap, it is possible. Okay, this is the absolute maximum distance the robot can jump. All right, that's actually insane, but it is possible, so I'm going to leave it in for now. So I'm thinking immediately after this psycho jump, you have to do a bunch of little mini jumps. Okay, so I've added an invisible wall here, and this block is fake. So basically, the most mid thing ever just happened. I had a full hour of footage of me building all this. It just like froze on this frame right here, and all you can see is my mouse moving and the audio. So obviously you can't even see what I'm doing, so I can't show an hour of footage that there's nothing even happening, so... I'm just gonna explain what happened. So I added like this little micro click, then you jump up here, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought this structure was kind of weird and looked like a building almost, so I added a flag to it This is sub to Vortrox, because, you know, you should sub to Vortrox. Then I added these like really stupid unfair timings, then I added like a big jump, and now this part's actually pretty exciting, so it's like a bunch of strange timings. So then it's like some crazy memory. So yeah, that's the whole robot part. This final ship is actually really exciting. So basically I turned this into straight fly, I added this dude thing, more straight fly. Then you had three of the best club set monsters of all time. We got Chad, we got Brad, and we got Happy Gilmore. Grains of sand reference? And as you may have saw, I added a coin route. A really hard one. So yeah, that's the final ship part. But I actually did even more stuff off camera. So I made that first club step monster look a lot nicer. And I turned the second jump into another club step monster. I added these spikes so you can't just hold and get up. I made the deadlocked reference thing look better. I added a smiley face here because I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> I made a cool creeper face and a cool ghast face. Uh, I just made a tree because why not? And I added a derpy little cube. So I think it's time I showcase this level. Stereo Extremeness is now uploaded on my account. The idea is shown on screen now, so go give it a try. If you guys make any progress or even try to beat it, upload it on YouTube and I might give you a shout out. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment what you think about this style of video. Feel free to like and subscribe as it would help me out a lot. Have a great day.